fact that you want to be a female. I'm sure, sure. right? No, no, it's, no. It's too, it's too much. You know, it's too much for some people. And I think that, yeah. I think it's okay for people to say that. It's fine. Yeah, it's not no a big idea. deal. But at the same time, like when someone says they're supporting you, they may not necessarily mean like, hey, go be a chick, go do whatever you want. Some people are totally that way, but other people are more like, you know what? I'm supporting you through this process because I know that it creates a lot of turmoil in your life and it creates a lot of issues. Uh, for you and your family and the people that are surrounding you and the people that care for you. So I think that's what some people are, are talking about when they're talking about like supporting somebody through something. They're not necessarily saying, hey, everybody should be transgender. You know, right, right. Oh, yeah. And that, yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, you know, the thing is, is that um, to be supportive, yeah, you don't have to, do, you know, be involved yourself. And right. it's just, um, you know, don't, uh, you know, it, just don't, the thing is, the biggest problem with stuff like that is transgender people are horribly discriminated against. They're attacked, beaten, murdered for simply existing. I mean, there's not yeah. too many ways you can be different in this world where, where, where people will attack and beat you to death simply right. for you being you, not doing anything to anyone. And, and that's the big issue, and that's the big problem. Um, the, the, you know, the murder count is, is out of control, and it's unprovoked. And, yeah. um, you know, that, that's, that's the real issue. But no, I don't, you know, people... Some of that to me is insane. We've already been through this a bunch of times with... Everything. Uh, African Americans, Jewish, and, yeah. uh, women, and Native Jewish, American. I mean, it's just every, every fucking yeah. minority yeah. you can point to. Uh, even just some, somebody having uh, HIV. Yeah. I mean, all, I just can which we just which ones? Can we all just get along? Can we, you know, well, yeah. I do understand people like saying, you know what, fuck it, man. I think that's wrong. I'm not down with it. Whatever, that's fine. But what, you know, not what hurts. I think else. Louis Simmons says it best in terms of steroids on bigger, stronger, faster. Like you know, my morals are my morals. Don't judge me, and your morals are yours. I'm not going to judge you, and that that applies to so many things in life. Right, like yeah. if it doesn't affect me, sure, do whatever you like. Exactly. It, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect me. Hey, do what you like. What you eating, Smiley? Chicken burrito. Chicken burrito, please. I got a steak burrito. I'm so fat. Trying to get jacked. Just finished a podcast with uh, Miss Janae Marie. AKA uh, Matt Croc. Chicken and rice. It'll be out in about a week. Oh. It'll blow all your minds. Oh my gosh. My burrito. I'm with Moneymaker. We got a quick photo shoot. Then I gotta get to 7 Eleven. I gotta get a damn rock star or an energy drink. And then maybe a Rice Krispie treat. And then we're gonna deadlift. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? Hitting up some deadlifts. Awesome day of podcasting so far plan for today is to hit some heavy doubles. Uh, I got my boy Mark Smelly Bell, myself, and Lolo all on the same bar. Um, I worked up to I think about 585 or so for a double. Using the stiff bar, this is the uh, Rogue Power Ohio bar, which is a USAPL bar, I believe. It is also just stiff, 45 pounds, multi-purpose bar, uh, knurling's medium to aggressive, bar's very stiff. Um, I don't know how many millimeters thick it is or anything like that, uh, but it's a little bit thicker, I think, than the uh, Rogue Westside bar, which we often bench with, but I'm a big fan of this bar. Um, we're all pulling sumo on this day. Uh, I think Lawrence pulled high sixes, maybe 675 or so. Mark's obviously pulled about 700 pounds, 7 and 60 in multiply gear, and we're all just hitting up some doubles. Mark's goal was to maybe reach around uh, 600 pounds or so. I just wanted to touch a little bit heavier than I did the week previous, uh, which I did, I think, 515 for three, maybe 535 for three, and 545 or 555 for three. So this week I wanted to start around 535 or 545 and get um, a lot of work in, small jumps once again, and just hit some good doubles. So I counted my first working weight, uh, which is like 535. We're using two... Um, 55 pound plates and then the rest are regular metal 45 pound plates so i believe this is the first working weight it's about 535 i don't know my math could be wrong you guys can correct me i don't really care uh mark went a little bit heavier than me i think he started his working weight uh with 585 things felt a little heavy today my groin uh my inner thighs hey now are a little uh, sore from all my squats on saturday i don't know why but I, I just didn't recover as well as i wanted but i also thrashed myself pretty hard on squats so things were moving slow uh, my body and my hips didn't want to get into the position uh, that I needed to to pull these a little bit smoother. My form was okay, but my hips are a little bit higher than I'd like, and the bar is just moving slower than I'd like. This is my second set. I think it's maybe 565 or so. Uh, I just threw on 30 pounds, a 10 and a 5. Uh, basically what I'm doing, I think you guys saw me touching myself a little bit before I'm pulling, but I'm just trying to cue myself to breathe a little bit deeper, breathe a little bit lower in my body. Um, I used to be a... Uh, 
a bad habit of breathing up into my chest. Now I'm really trying to tighten my core, kind of my obliques and my low back, um, thanks to the help and, and cues of uh, Chris Duffin and Chad Wesley Smith, who talked a ton and preached a ton about breathing and tightness, which obviously every power lifter, even semi-experienced, is gonna know how important it is. Uh, but cues are very tough with that. You know, people say push into the belt or big breath or stay tight, but what does that actually mean? Um, and it's just about breathing through your whole core, trying to brace everything. I think about my spine being like a, the middle of like a donut even, or a middle of something, and I'm just trying to suction the whole thing. Or like a, a cuff, if you ever had your uh, blood pressure. God, that was a grindy 585. I touched and go, so I cheated like a mother so that second rep could be a little faster. Anyways, back to my analogy, basically like a, a blood pressure cuff. And once you start pumping that thing up, it really just tightens all the way around your arm. I think about that when I'm breathing uh, to really start from the bottom up, kind of my lower gut underneath the belt, and then squeeze my spine as hard as I can to make that sucker stiff. After uh, I hit my 585, mark hit 625 or so for two or three. Then we threw these little mats underneath uh, the wheels. My favorite wagon wheels were already being used. So this is maybe a, a two inch block pull or so. I just did one set about 535. Then I moved, hopped up to 595, which is about 10 pounds heavier than last week. I did 585 or so. Moved a lot faster than the uh, 535 just because I was more confident. I got into my hips a little bit. I knew it was going to hurt my groin. I just said, screw it. I'm going to do it. So I hopped in. Um, because my legs were so sore, I just wanted to squat really, 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 really light. Typically, I'd try to get to 365, maybe 355 to 405 for my speed work, which today is kind of a speed squat workout for me. Um, but since I was so beat up, everything's hurting so bad, all I wanted to do was move. So I hit about uh, five sets of three with, I don't even know what this is, 280. I believe the bar is 50 pounds. Obviously, it's not a struggle. Um, but pushing myself when something feels tweaked I've found in the past with myself and people I worked with is just not a good idea. If you go into a workout and your back, something feels off, your bicep, your chest, your shoulder, your hammies, quad, if anything feels off, something is probably off. If it pushes it through a lot of exertion, like my, I use my groin a ton, my inner hamstrings a ton when I squat, uh, I just didn't want to push it. So I tried to be smart for once in my life. With the two fattest members of Super Training. Where's Dan? We're Filipino about. Thunder. Uh, I got chocolate all over the seats. I'm so fat. So this is only a hundred thousand dollar car. That's proof, not chocolate, just, by the way. Just chocolate stained Could AC be. seats. Uh, oh, maybe it's not chocolate. <laughs> Different type of smell. Maybe it's poo. Where are we going? Hey, you Filipino Thunder. What did we get, buddy? All right, we got tuna. Salmon. 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 That should be delicious. Where, and, uh, where do you get like a little bowl? Like, like, we gotta go get it ourselves. Self serve. <laughs> Where do you get a fork around here? I'm eating with my hands. <laughs> Mr. Robot Pants joined us. More dessert. Mark wants more ice cream even though he doesn't like it. I don't see how many bananas we can get around. <laughs> Deep fried banana. Robot moved really quickly on the fucking banana over here. Mark eating fruit. Fruit for dessert? Not working. Awesome day of podcasting. Uh, it was awesome to have Janae Marie tell her story, be so open and honest with us uh, and our listeners. So check out Mark Bell's podcast on iTunes. That episode will drop in almost exactly a week from when you're watching this. Uh, you guys know the drill. If you like that bitch, like that bitch, share that bitch, subscribe to that bitch. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for kicking it. And another video coming in a couple days. We out.